Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I wanted to do something, I guess this video is probably going to be a little bit longer, um, but I actually, my gem inventory has been really, really full because I've been farming Golden Speed 10 for quite a long time. Um, and I usually just keep the, the best of the best gems and I basically was selling a lot of them. But sometimes even when you're keeping like really good gems, you still have to upgrade them to test them out to see if they're really, really good. Um, I think in a week of farming, these are like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like the seven gems I kept, um, <laughs> since, since farming for like an entire week. Once you get to like end game, you start only keeping like, um, the gems that have like literally the best substats ever and still you you don't exactly keep them all because sometimes you have to upgrade them to see if they actually give you the stats that you need so we're going to be doing that in this video and i i think it can kind of serve as a gem guide um i've done this for like um you know i guess lower tier gems but now we're we're trying to we're trying to get the best of the best because i i think that was a meme the best the best of the best I can't remember where that's from, but anyways, uh, <laughs> there's there's a lot of gems that I'm going through, and there's also a lot of old gems that I I never upgraded. So I'm just gonna upgrade a lot of these gems to see if um, they're good, and also talk about like which gems are really worth keeping and which ones are not. Um, I'm also going to be going through my my dragon gems as well. Usually I keep all my dragon gems that aren't flat. It doesn't matter like how shitty the substats are. I usually just like even if they only have two substats and they're like both flat, um, as long as the main stat isn't flat, I would usually come out and I would upgrade them to see you know the the other two um, substats that spawn. So I'll, I'll at least very at the very very least upgrade it to plus six to see how good the the substats of those gems are. So without further ado, let's uh, let's let, let's begin. We'll we'll start from the top. Um, so this is a intuition gem with uh, crit rate and resist. Now this is a defense gem. If it did not have resist, I probably would have just sold it straight straight out. It's a four substat gem without any um, flat stats. So this is definitely a, I guess without upgrading, it's a, you know, if you just take a look at like, um, just you know, like if you were to were to grade gems without without any upgrades, like level one gems, if you were to to put like line up level one gems and grade them one by one this would be like considered very very high tier but it can't be considered really high tier until we um, actually upgrade it because a, a two a gem that comes with two substats can actually outclass a gem that has four substats depending on where the upgrades go to so for example like you could have i don't think i have any good examples here i sold a lot of like really good gems we can use like some of these dragon gems um because I, I keep a lot of these so say for example you have like a gem like this um, and it has, it has like flat defense, flat attack, which is really bad, but you know, you can upgrade it and then it can spawn resist. And then the upgrades, like say, for example, this HP percent didn't even exist. Um, but you actually spawned it on the, pl on the plus three and you spawned resist on the plus six and the plus nine and plus 12 both went into went into resist now now and pretend this is like an intuition gem now you compare this with like this gem i should probably lock lock a lot of these i, I don't lock a lot of my gems i probably should i i've actually sold a lot of gems by accident but uh it's like whatever um as long as they're not like crit siphon gems i um i don't really give that much of a shit so these like this gem, say for example, it didn't go into the resist or crit rate at all, and it just like, it just went into attack or something like that. Um, this would not be a good gem because most of the time you're probably going to be using this on aggressors. You can use a, these on like hybrid monsters as well that you want to have like 100% crit because usually gem of intuition is used for that. So you can use this gem for a monster that you want to push to 100% crit, but you're not going to build like fully um, offensive. So say for example, and you still want like a little bit of attack. So say for example, monsters like um, Dark Thor, I think is a pretty good example. Um, you can build like a Courageous Strikers, a lot of like uh, Courageous Strikers that need crit. Actually, there's there's a few. Um, there's like the um, there's the 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 Water Spark it. The uh, the the one that's ongoing right now. There's the um, what's her name? I suddenly forgot her name. Uh, the the 
the the the kana yeah the kana the the wood kana the wood kana also has attack down and courageous strike and her courageous strike is dependent on her crit um these type of monsters or utility monsters that you might be using for dragon speed tens so say for example like dark uh victoria you might want to use an intuition set and you don't if you don't want to give like if you don't want to uh use use other sets um today also happens to be gem removal day so i can actually customize a lot of, a lot of these gems um, i have eight million gold to spend so i have i definitely have a lot of gold to uh to upgrade gems so we can basically upgrade anything we want in this video so i'm just gonna um upgrade it and ideally what the, the worst case scenario is you don't want it to go into attack because if it were to go into attack for all the upgrades um that that theoretical gem that that one we uh you know thought up just now the intuition gem with like two flat substats but um spawn resist on the plus six and then went into resist again on the plus nine and plus 12 and has like 20 something resist that gem will definitely outclass this one um but we'll we'll see what we can get because it's a four substat gem it has a much much higher chance for it to roll into like the crit rate or resist at meaning that this will probably be a be a really decent gem um even if it all rolls into attack, I can still use this on um, Titan monsters. It, it just won't be like, you know, the, the highest tier gem. It'll just be like a, a secondary gem that I can throw onto some Titans monsters. All right, so it went into HP once. Um, not too bad, I would say. It's it's all right. We, we really do want the resistant crit rate. Um, mostly for if you want to use this gem on an aggressor. Oh, it went to HP three times. Hmm, interesting. I guess this is probably just going to be a Titan's Bond gem. Like a, a debuffer that you are you might use for Titans. You could throw this gem on, on that monster. Because the, the resist definitely helps um, in Titans. The crit rate will help a bit. Especially on like monsters that you want to do a little bit of damage. But also can debuff. So maybe like some balance type monsters that have debuffs. Um, you could you could use this gem on, that, on those monsters. We'll see what the plus 9 actually gives me. Alright, I went into attack. This is like... This is really bad luck. <laughs> this, this gem could have been like super, super strong. But... Um, it's a little bit unfortunate. It's just, it's just the way it is. It's just the way Tina is, you know. Um, I won't upgrade all gems to plus twelve, but since this this gem already has four substats, I want to kind of show you guys the maximum potential of this gem. Um, if it just rolls into resist once, I think this will still be a relatively decent gem for like maybe some hybrid monsters. Having like one roll crit rate is actually pretty pretty nice on intuition gems. You don't really need two two rolls because basically to reach a hundred percent crit um, with an intuition gem, you 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 just need three rolls. So it doesn't even need to be like a really high roll. Um, I think crit goes from six percent to seven point five at the highest. All right, so it went to fifteen percent resist, twelve percent attack, uh, HP. I, I probably would not use this on aggressor but i would probably use this on a a monster that i want to bu build as a bruiser and may potentially need crit so you know maybe when i'm building my second dark kana i could use this but i think she needs the crit rate gem she doesn't have two squares um where are some bruiser monsters that might need crit i guess it doesn't even need to be dark it can be any monster that you want to build with a little bit of attack um, but not necessarily want to, like maybe like Dark Spark it. I could probably use that gem as well. Um, go with like defense double HP for like highest effective HP. But he's already really tanky, so I'm not, I'm not too sure. I, I don't really know where that gem would be used. Um, it's kind of sad that it rolled once into attack. If that roll went into anything else instead, it would have been uh, it would have still been really nice for like a secondary aggressor, not like the the highest tier aggressors, because the the like the aggressors that I um, that I'm using, the ones that are like really important, need to have like a lot of resist. So like the Mihos, basically they need to have like resist maxed out. Or else they're they're not really usable, um, but for monsters like you know when I'm building like Dark Birdie, I could potentially use actually no uh, like Dark Sea Star. Um, 
you know, if, if anyone still has those monsters, you can potentially use use this gem. Alright, that's that's a lot of time spent on one gem. We'll do a few upgrades on this one as well. This is a ruin gem. Now, I kept this one. I don't normally um, put ruin on my aggressors because it's very, very difficult already. Because Aggressors need a lot of stats um, for for them to really shine in PvP. Most of the aggressors are light and dark, especially if they're dark. If they're dark, they require both crit and high resist. Aggressors need the resist. Without the resist, they they can get armor broken really easily and just killed really, really fast. Um, so I basically, I only kept this gem because of the resist, and I'm hoping that it would roll into um, basically just only crit rate and resist. The requirements for using a ruin gem is much, much higher than an intuition gem, because the intuition gem already gives 20% resist, but the ruin um, set bonus is only effective if your monster already has high resist. So the only way that this gem can be useful is if it um, like at least rolls once into crit, and then like rolls another time into resist. It's like the only way that this gem could be, um, I guess, considered usable at, at, at my point in the game. But I could always store it on some like Titan's Mons where I don't really um, need that much. Let's just hope it doesn't go into recovery. Uh, knowing Tina, I probably will. I knew it. How did I guess? How did I guess? Um... Damn, this gem's already kind of sad. Either it rolls twice into crit, and then I can, I can use this on a PVE monster that I'm build building like hybrid, um, maybe like a Thor or something. If it rolls twice into crit, if it rolls once into crit, once into resist, I might still be able to use this on aggressor. Ruin gems are really hard to use because you um, you just need you just need so much. You already basically the set bonus requires you to have high crit. So without good crit substats, ruin gems are basically useless. But they are the most effective. Like they are the best gems if you have like the best substats. They're the best set to have um, in like ninety percent of the situation. If you have the substats to back it off, back it back it up all right that was one roll into resist it's not too bad damn it wasted two rolls into this recovery it's kind of sad I'll probably this is this probably all right let's let's see what it what the plus 12 can give me because um, in order for this to still be like considered relatively like higher tier I, it has to roll into crit on the plus 12 because without the crit the ruin is just like the set bonus is, is not really all that effective um, so without it I probably would just throw this on a um, a random Titans monster not even for the crit damage or the crit rate just kind of for the resist um, because I, I do have some like leftover ruin gems that I whenever I get a ruin gem I try to upgrade it to plus 12 to see what I can spawn because um, because of how, how good Ruin Gems are, if they do ha actually have the best substats. So I, I'm usually willing to um, at least try it out and see what it gives. But what, what that means is I'm also left with a lot of random Ruin Gems that are at plus 12, but they're not exactly the highest tier. But I can't really, like I don't really want to sell them because I've already invested in them and upgrading them to plus 12. So I usually just throw them on some random monsters that I'm using um, for titans, just kind of as filler slots. That's why you see some uh, some of my monsters are just like the random ruin gems, but they don't have a lot of crit rate. Um, but if they do actually crit, they they do get that bonus crit damage. So I guess it's it's pretty nice. I'm taking a pretty big gamble because there's only a, a one in four chance that it goes into crit rate. But I'm uh, spending quite a lot of money just to just to test it out. Alright, this gave me 25% resist. Uh, this is a pretty good mo gem that I can use on some Titan Mon for the high resist. So I'll probably just do that. Um, I could use it on an aggressor as well, but the, the crit rate is a little bit too low. It's kind of it's kind of sad. Um, Alright, so you'll notice that uh, for Conviction, Protection, and Life Sets, I will only keep them if they have one one resist substat. Now these these gems, the requirements for their 
um, for me to keep them as a little bit lower. Oh shit, my, my leg just went numb. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, just, I'm gonna sit to one side. Um, I don't know why it always happens. Like, if I just sit normally, it doesn't happen. But when I'm recording a video, I'm really focused and like talking and like thinking and stuff. I don't like, my legs don't move at all. So they, they just like instantly go numb. Um, so for protection gems, conviction gems, and life gems, the requirement is a little bit lower than intuition. Well, actually, um, I would say the easiest gem sets to use are probably intuition and conviction for most like PVP monsters because, um, well, I'm, I'm actually a little bit focused a little bit more on PVP, but you can also use them for like PV. Well, for PVE, I think like um, sets like protection and and uh, and life and well, conviction is good anywhere. But basically, like sets like protection, life, and valor that give like flat stats are pretty nice for like Titans monsters because you can, if you can um, if you happen to have like three three gems in a set. Uh, it's basically just like 20 bonus attack, 20 percent bonus attack or 20 percent bonus HP that you're you're gonna get for free um, anyway. So it's it's pretty nice to put those sets together if you're like at the at the end game um, and you have a lot of gems that you can you can use. So we're gonna um, so, so for this one it's actually pretty easy. Um, it's a protection gem and it has resist. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just upgrade it and it doesn't even really matter what else spawns. Um, ideally I do want HP to spawn because I want to use this for like a mostly defensive maybe debuffer or possibly use it on an aggressor um, not this HP the percent HP all right so it has three flat substats um, sometimes I actually it depends it depends on how many because this is a gem of protection defense gem and it has resist so I'm gonna actually try to take this to um, at least plus nine and none of the rolls going to resist. I'm probably just going to sell it because it's not even really all that good The other three substats are almost completely useless. It's like it's like they're non non-existent at, at this point I swear if it goes into it, the crit damage on plus six, I'm just straight out selling it All right, all right, there we go. That's 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 it for you. Um, it's gone. I mean, I did have two more chances for it to go into resist, but I didn't want to waste the gold because um, because of the the likelihood of it rolling to resist is actually relatively low, so it's not really worth the investment. And even if it does roll into resist, it's just going to be a gem with like twenty something resist, but it has like three other completely useless substats. And I have a lot of gems that have twenty something resist, so I don't, I don't really necessarily need that one. Now this one um, for conviction gems, I'm actually a little bit more, um, I guess, less strict on them. I don't have to try to control it as much. I don't have to make sure they have like the absolute ba best substats, but I do actually still want to want to make sure that the last stat that spawns, well actually I can't make sure, but I, I hope that the last stat that spawns is at least something that isn't flat. Uh, maybe like a HP percent would be perfect. Or a crit rate will work too. Crit rate definitely does does work for everything. Um, so yeah, for this gem, uh, it's a conviction gem with, with defense, mostly used on, I guess you can use them on like any PVP monster. You do actually um, want everything to go into resist if you can. Just so you can like, just so I can like build another aggressor with like um, 85, which is the resist cap. I just want to push another aggressor um, to like resist cap. I can use conviction gems to to help me do that. So I definitely do do want to hope that everything goes into resist, and I can basically build another max resist cap um, aggressor. Because aggressors, uh, the thing with aggressors is they're only light and dark. So light and dark monsters start with a base of zero percent crit, which is I guess they're, um, you can say it's a strength and a weakness because there's a trade-off. Um, dark monsters have 100% crit. Light monster is 10% or 100% crit damage, but the light monster is 10%. Uh, uh, oh, actually, it went to, went to crit rate once. That's actually pretty good. Um, the light monster's 10% crit rate isn't all that useful, but the dark monster's crit damage is very, very strong. Um, I think in the highest tier, like dark monsters are probably just the best. Of, of any element. 
Hmm, nice. 21% crit conviction gem with resist. It's a defense one, but I could probably use this on an aggressor and it could be it could be pretty damn strong this gem. Yeah, I can I can definitely see this being uh being pretty pretty good. Alright, that, that one's already a keeper, so I'm not going to take it to plus 12. doesn't even matter what it rolls into at plus 12. Even the flat defense, it's still a good gem already, because it has 21% crit. Um, this one's a defense. This one's a Valor gem with defense. Now, I, I basically just kept this one for because it it has crit and resist. Um, if it didn't... Because Valor, I would say, is a little bit less useful than life and protection. Mostly for... Most of the time for PvP... Um, I would gem secondary monsters, preferably on Conviction. So I, Conviction is definitely, um, I, w I would say, the most useful gem, but not exactly the highest tier. The highest tier gems are definitely like, well, first of all, the highest tier gems are like Siphon like and Pugilist. Um, those are those are super OP. But for like Golem gems, um, the highest tier gems are probably Ruin most of the time. If you're using them on anything that does any sort of damage, if you can get them on a proper Ruin set, um, it would it would definitely be the best. But sometimes you don't even have the substats to, to do that because like, for, exa for example, you're using them on um, Aggressors. Aggressors also need the resist. So it would actually sacrifice using the Ruin set and actually push the resist a little bit higher by using uh, a Conviction set. And sometimes Aggressors, like especially Dark Aggressors, also need crit. So either I would try to get a conviction set that has high resist plus with a little bit of crit, or I just basically um, get a intuition set that has very very high resist and I rely on the the crit gem plus the twenty percent um, crit bonus from the intuition gems in order to push my crit rate up for those dark monsters. So these these two gem sets are the most used. But the Valor gem set is actually the least used, and I don't have a lot of Valor gems. I, I didn't really keep that many Valor gems. Um, the only way that I would keep a Valor gem is if it's an attack gem with crit rate, I would keep it. Or if it's uh, any other gem that has both crit rate and resist, I, I'll decide to keep it. So this one's a defense, has crit rate, resist, and HP. It has, also has a flat attack, which isn't too good. But we're going to try it out and see if it, um, see if it gives me anything good. If it goes into the attack at plus three, I'm probably going to sell it because the only reason I, I really kept this is because it's a four substat gem, meaning that if it rolls into like resist at the plus three or something like that, um, or the crit rate at the plus three, it has the potential to go really, really high because, um, you know, you basically you get four rolls so you can see, see what uh, type of crazy things it can roll into. All right, it's a 19.5% crit gem. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, it's already quite nice, I think. Now, the, the thing with Valor is, because attack doesn't work with aggressors, um, it's a little bit less valuable, especially if it's a defensive gem. So the only monsters, if you want to maximize the potential of the Valor set plus the, all the bonuses of the of these substats, um, they have to be some sort of hybrid attacker, which I guess I could use because if I'm using like this is probably a pretty decent gem for um, a Courageous Striker because Courageous Strikers need the defense and HP to survive. They also need the crit rate. A lot of Courageous Strikers need crit, uh, um, you know, like crit dependent Courageous Strikers. And they also would like a little bit of resist because the resist can help with um, help with like resisting some debuffs from the titans. So that's actually pretty nice. So yeah, this gem is a this gem's a keeper. This this is a, these are some nice rolls. Uh, I don't know what the plus twelve is gonna give me, but it doesn't really matter um, because it's valor. It's already not like the highest tier. I would probably just normally just use them on um, attackers like hybrid attackers or or courageous strikers or. Just some sort of balance monster. Um, all right, this is a conviction gem. Now it had three substats, but I saw the it was an attack conviction gem. It, had, it came with three substats. I upgraded to plus three um, before I sold it, and it spawned resist. Now this is yeah. Wait, why the hell did I keep this gem? 
Yeah, this gem has no use. I just I just realized this gem has no use. We're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna get, we're gonna get rid of it really fast. Uh, these are just siphon leech gems. They're not. I guess I can start clearing out some of my leech gems because I figured that. Actually, leech gems um, like these that don't have any sort of other good substat are not really worth using, um, especially if they ha they don't have any resist at all. the The way I want to build like the monsters that I'm using for like titans and stuff is first of all I'm lazy. The proper way to do titans is you want to build for every single well not every single but you build for specific elements depending on your monster box and then you wait for your clan mates to beat certain titans and then you focus on um, beating, beating a certain element titans and basically maximizing your, your damage potential um, and helping out the clan. Like basically maximizing efficiency for the clan is to split up the work and have people do um, damage on specific titans. Um, so the, but the way I, I do titans is I like, I'm not really all that competitive. Our, our clan's pretty casual. Um, and I, I really can't be bothered to have to wait for my turn to do the Titans. So normally during the Titans times, if I remember to do Titans, I would go in and it doesn't matter what element it is. I would just go in and I would just fight that Titan. And in order to do that, I think I want to have monsters that are usable against almost all the Titan elements, ex maybe with the exception of the element that they're weak against. So like you don't want to use fire against water or wood against fire. Um, or, or water against wood, but everything else besides that, I think I want to gem up monsters basically um, just for general use. So I still want like high resist most of the time. So I, I realize that a lot of these lead gems, um, they're mostly just used for courageous strikers. But the courageous strikers can get you know like sealed by certain titans, can get stunned, um, just like really annoying CCs. So I basically I decided to start selling the the elite gems that don't have like resist that basically I would treat them like a normal gem and if they have really shitty subsets I would just sell them and not not bother using them um, so I guess we can we can upgrade some of these as well uh, this one it either has to spawn resist or has to spawn crit rate for me to try it out all right spawn 9% resist It's already it's already pretty good because I I dragon gems are so hard to get I I can't really afford to be like so strict on them um, it's it's really difficult like it's extremely hard to get a get some good dragon gems um, it's super super hard especially like trying to get like pugilist gems with any sort of resist is, is near impossible. But it might be possible. Maybe I can upgrade this into spawning resist if I'm lucky enough. All right, one more chance. I've just decided like I'm gonna I'm gonna sell my shitty pugilist and leech gems if they're if they're actually really shitty, then. I would not bother using them anyways. They kind of have to have that resist. All right, this one's this one this one's going. Um, siphon gems. I've been keeping a lot of defense and HP siphon gems, but I really don't have that many aggressors to to do siphon with. Um, but attack siphon gems are very very valuable, especially attack siphon gems with crit. Those are like the most valuable things in the game. Um, just being able to have like a max maxed out crit siphon team is just it just makes your farming like insane. So so yeah, that's that's probably the highest tier. Uh, the highest tier gems are I think are siphon gems that have crit and pugilist gems that have resist. Like pugilist gems with resist are just absolutely disgusting. Uh, like something like this. This is just this is this is fucked up. All right. <laughs> Or this one. This one. This one's an attack gem, so I guess it's not as good. Um, but it still has 23% resist. It's a four substat gem that kind of went sideways, but whatever. Still gave me 23%. I'll, I'll take it. Um, or maybe a 100% crit um, pugilist set. So basically, like high resist pugilist, high resist, high crit siphon, or high crit pugilist are also are all very very good gems. Um, 
Some of these I actually keep. If they're four subset gems and they all have like pretty decent subsets in the beginning. But nowadays I, I stop keeping these normal set gems. Um, up I've kind of stopped using broken set. It, it kind of got to that point. It was, eventually you'll get to that point because you, you really do want the, the bonus to basically maximize everything. Um, if you're, in, if you're in like the super end game. All right, all right. Uh, we'll, we'll do a few more and then um, a few different types of gems that maybe I, I haven't talked about. Um, crit rate gems. Oh yeah, crit rate gems. I, I, I haven't talked about crit rate gems yet. Um, crit rate gems are, are uh, mostly, they're, they're basically for attackers or aggressors. You, that's the only reason that you would use crit rate gems. Now, a lot of times, um, crit rate gems, since they already have the crit rate, it's not like it's one of the like crit rate is one of the most sought after substats, right? Um, since they already have the crit rate, you don't need to have the the crit rate, you know, for for the crit rate gem. So the other stats you can look for on a crit rate gem is if you're planning to use it on an attacker, um, crit damage, like crit damage is probably, well, I, I guess. It depends on this gem set. If it's ruined, crit damage isn't as good. Attack might be better. But if it's like intuition, um, crit rate with crit damage is, is very, very nice. If you can get like a 20 something percent crit damage, um, crit rate intuitions gem, it's actually quite nice for you. The other thing is um, resist. Resist on crit rate gems are also very, very important because if you're planning to use the crit rate gem on, for a dark attacker, um, you, the attacker definitely needs to have high resist, right? And for your other two gems, since you also want to aim for crit rate for those gems, you need to be a little bit stricter for those gems. So what you want to aim for on the, the actual crit rate gem, the one with the crit rate main substat, is to have high resist, and then you can use them on your aggressors. So for this gem, it has both crit damage and resist, which is perfect. Although the other two substats are kind of shitty, it is a four substat gem, so I'm going to just test it out and see if it, um, see if it gives me anything good. I think we have a pretty pretty good chance for this to to turn out well even if the f first plus three goes bad oh nice 15 percent resist already Ooh. oh man imagine this like turns into like a 30 something percent re resist crit rate gem can you imagine the epicness all right flat hp not uh not the best but um, since it, it's a resist gem, I would most likely be using this on an aggressor, so the fly HP is definitely not too bad. I do prefer flat HP a little bit more than flat defense, um, but unless, because most of the time HP aggressors are, are, are stronger than defense aggressors. And I don't have that many defense aggressors, but I do have a lot of uh, HP aggressors. This gem... Shim kind of went to shit. It does have one more chance because it has, it did spawn, um, it did already give me plus 15 resist. So the plus 12, it could give me plus 20 something resist, which means I could use this on a secondary aggressor. Um, I'm kind of, I'm actually a little bit curious. So let's, let's actually take this to plus 12, see what it gives me. I'd probably use this gem on a secondary aggressor, not like the the top tier aggressors like the mihos i might be using them on um using these on like the the dark birdies maybe i could throw this on on my dark birdie um probably probably throw this on a bruiser type monster so it went to crit damage on the last roll um it's not exactly the best gem it basically just went to one each substat once these gems are Probably for like dark utility monsters that nobody are gonna like everybody's gonna ignore so monsters like um, Dark spark it Nobody wants to hit that um, I don't I don't have a lot of tanky dark monsters maybe something like dark Fibian you can probably throw that on him, but Yeah, I probably don't want to use him or like dark birdie you can use the, this type of gem for that But it's not it's not exactly the best I almost kind of want to sell it, but actually, I think I should sell it. I just realized I should sell it. It's not that. It's not that good. Yeah, this, this like because crit rate gems, um, you have to take it to plus fifteen. So this isn't something I would just throw on a random Titans monster. 
because I, they wouldn't need crit rate anyways. So this gym's kind of, it's kind of bad. It's actually kind of useless. Kind of has to go. Um, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is like, this is like very, very end game already. Like if you're just starting out on golems, you can't afford to sell gems like, like I am right now. Um, that gem could have been like really, really good for you. But for me, it's already, it's already not really useful. I really don't think of, like, I, I don't think I have a monster that can really make use of that gem. Um, because for crit rate gems, you kind of have to upgrade them to max. So we're going to try again with this one. This is a plus three gem. Um, at the plus three is spawn resist or I spawn crit damage. So I decided to keep it because resist and crit damage, as I mentioned before, are the gems, are the, the stats I want on a, on a crit rate intuition gem. So I'm going to upgrade this and hopefully I can get like two, three rolls into resist and I would keep this. Um, or I get like two, three rolls into crit damage basically. I'll probably take this to plus nine. If it rolls into um, the flat one, I'm probably selling it. Yes, if it rolled into flat recovery, it's kind of bad. So sad. But it's kind of just the way it is. Um, when you're at this point, you kind of just like a gem can come and be and be super good. Like it, it can be like top tier the moment you get it, but. After you upgrade it a few times, it might not turn out the the way you want it to be to turn out. So, um, it's just the way Tina is. It's just blame Tina. All right. This gem I kept because it had it was an HP protection gem with flat HP. Had crit rate. I was hoping that I would spawn resist on the plus three. Um, I just I don't think I just I just forgot to upgrade this. So usually I, I I test some of these gems out. See if it um, gives me resist on the plus three. If it does, I keep it. If it doesn't, I sell it. It's pretty. This 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 one is pretty straightforward. Um, this one is also a pretty nice intuition gem. It's a defense one. It also has resist. I do want crit rate because normally I would try to use this on a on an aggressor. But if it spawns something like HP, um, this could also be a relatively nice gem for for aggressors because I'm already using the intuition set. Um, so the crit rate isn't that important. It's more, more important that I get high resist on this gem. So if it can spawn like a flat HP, it would be all, also be quite nice. The attack is a little bit useless actually, because, um, because this is a no crit, this is a no crit intuition gem. So I would not use this on a hybrid, um, like a, like a bruiser build attacker. And the only reason I would use an intuition gem on a bruiser build attacker is if I'm trying to... Um, push 100% crit and it's hard to do that without without the the actual crit substat so um, But it is it did come with three substats, so I think I can I, I Think I might be able to take this to plus six and if it goes into resist I keep it if it doesn't I sell it basically It's pretty straightforward um, You know it does have two more potentials after that to roll into the, the resist, but I don't want to spend the money to to uh, invest and try to try to do that. Oh, nice! It did. Ooh, is, this, is this the miracle gem? You know, sometimes you get these miracle gems that just uh, like that's why I bothered taking it to plus six because I think that like if if um, this is a gem already worth keeping because I can throw this gem on a on a Titans monster already because of the 17% resist. I can throw this on a random Titans debuff mon or yeah, just a normal random de debuff mon. It would already work because of the resist. The attack would be somewhat useful as well. Give me crit damage, which is, I guess, all right. At, le at least it's not the flat attack because this is already an intuition gem. So if I happen to complete the intuition set and not use this on a broken set, um, I think this would be an okay gem. Like this, this was this is usable, but like the lowest tier usable. You just throw this on like random, random uh, Titans fodder. All right, so this this is a Valor um, crit rate resist. I mentioned before Valor gems. I only keep if they basically if they're only if they're attack gems that have crit rate, I would try, and they have like more than three substats at level one. 
I would try. Um, or if they have both crit rate and resist. So this one has both, so I decided to keep it and try it out. And it also has three substats. So I'm just gonna, just gonna upgrade it. Um, that was kind of shit. <laughs> Uh, I'm hoping it goes into crit actually. I went to resist. I think this might be just some random Titans gem. Yeah, this is probably just gonna be thrown on a Titans mon. Um, but at least it's Valor, so like almost all monsters can use it. It's not. It's not too bad. Um, this one's resist HP crit. It's a protection defense. Um, the chance of me keeping this is already pretty high because it already has three substats. So even if it like spawns like flat recovery, rolls into it twice, I could still throw this on a random Titan spawn. Um, if I like decide to get it to plus 12. Actually, if it rolls into flat recovery and rolls into it twice, I probably would just sell it out of rage. But it, it would still actually technically be somewhat usable because of the, because it already has like, um, I think 5% HP is the highest roll. Resist 9% is also highest. Crit rate is 7.5, but 7 is already a pretty high roll. It's a flat flat HP, so it's actually still usable. This flat substat is pretty good, especially on uh, monsters that have high defense. Sometimes may maybe they have like lower base HP. If you want to use like a protection set for those monsters, maybe it's like a, maybe like a light aggressor. Yeah, light, light aggressors could use this because it has, it has a defense as well. So if I plan to build like a, another light Nike, might be able to use this this gem depending on how much resist it actually gives me oh nice nice so that's another max roll that's that was another nine percent roll it's 18 percent with two roll Hmm. Now, the the thing with um, went to flat HP. Oh man, actually, it's still already good because it's already an eighteen percent resist gem on a protection defense percent. So like, you really can't go wrong. Actually, I might be able to just use this on an aggressor as well. Even has crit. So like, um, even dark defense aggressors might be able to use it. Maybe if it rolls into crit again, I would prefer if it rolled into resist one more time because I could just probably just throw this on another um, light Nike when I when I build another one. This gem I'm a little bit unsure of, so I'll I'll take it to plus twelve and then depending on what it turns into, I can kind of uh decide what to what to use this gem for there's um because it has resist and crit rate and it's a defense percent protection gem um defense aggressors are probably the ones that can make the best use of this gem however if it doesn't like since it only has 18 percent resist um it's definitely not the highest here because you do actually if possible you do want three rolls into resist for like most of your aggressors that you want to you actually use seriously for PvP, um, but eighteen percent isn't too bad. It's 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 already like two max rolls, which is, you know, I can't I can't complain. Um, but other monsters like, all right, went to HP. It was a four percent roll. Probably. I'll see, because this is still usable for aggressors. Um, 18 is kind of borderline, but I can, yeah, I can probably, like, if I build another Nike and I happen to not have any good resist gems, I could probably use this one. But I, I do have, like, other sets, so I don't necessarily need to use the protection set. I can probably, I can, like, maybe use a conviction set, and I, maybe, I, I not maybe, but, like, I know I have a lot of conviction gems that have, like, 20-something percent resist. So I could probably use one of those instead, like square gems. Um, and then I can probably just throw this one on a random Titan's Mon as well. Um, so this is a this is an attack gem. This is pretty straightforward. You just wanted to roll into as many as much crit as possible. 
This is an intuition gem. Um, yeah, this is that that one needs no explanation. Um, this one. This one. What's this one one I keep? Oh yeah, because it has resist and crit rate. But I already, I already went through Valor. Valor's pretty straightforward. Um, I think that's I think that's it. I think that's that's pretty much it. Um, for for most of the gems, kind of kind of went through everything already. Only thing I didn't go through is siphon. But most of my siphon gems I just immediately upgrade, especially if they're attack gems. I just want to see what they they spawn, and even like. I swear, even like the most god awful attack gems, like this one, uh, I would eventually take it to plus fifteen because I would I would throw them on random monsters and just having triple attack siphon is just it already makes a monster a really good farmer. Like it doesn't even need any good substats. If it, if like none of these substats existed, this siphon gem would still be good because of how OP siphon is. Um, but pugilist is a little bit different. Pugilist, if you don't have high resist, people can abuse that. So. So that, there, there's a difference there, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I think if I if I keep going, it'll just it would just be nonstop. I probably have to do a lot of this on my on my free time because my gem inventory is definitely getting really really full. So I do need to sell a lot of my a lot of my gems, or also or maybe equip them on a lot of my uh, monsters. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to kind of show this to to you guys if you if you found this helpful. Um, I mean, hopefully you found this helpful. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.